Welcome to the basic series of Vivian Tutorials, which will walk you through the many phases of planning and designing an event from scratch. In this first video, we'll cover the Vivian Welcome Screen, explain the Customer Experience Improvement Program, and finally, show you how to change the look and feel of Vivian's user interface. Let's start with the options on the left of the Welcome Screen, which is what you see when you first launch Vivian. Within the My Dongle area, Clicking About will open a window which provides information regarding your current Vivian version, as well as your dongle's serial code. Here you can also check your membership or lease information. In the same area, you may also renew your membership or lease by applying a renewal code that's been purchased. Upgrade to a standard Vivian license if you currently own a lease or student edition by applying an upgrade code that's been purchased or click the Members Only Area link in order to be directed to the Members Area of CAST Software's website, from where you can request technical support, library updates, access downloads and purchase membership renewals, lease renewals, or upgrades. In the Tasks area, the options to import and export user data will become handy once you've customized Vivian's look and feel. Should you wish to automatically apply the same settings to another installation of Vivian on other computers, export these settings to a Vivian user data file, then import that file on another computer. These options may also be used to easily move custom content, such as library items, to other computers, as we'll see in a future video which will present these options in detail. In the Resources area, clicking the Reference Guide link will open Vivian Help where you will find answers to questions about Vivian's operation. Click the Search tab and enter keywords to find the information you're looking for. Last item in this list is the Release Notes PDF document, which, in addition to listing all the new features and changes that came to this particular version of Vivian, also provides information about using these, so it's always a good idea to read through it. Next, we'll look at two of Vivian's basic application options, which you may wish to change right away. Other application options will be covered in future videos. To access these, click the Options menu, then click Application Options. The first is the Customer Experience Improvement Program, or CEIP. By enabling this option, you allow Vivian to share usage information with CAST software. CEIP simply tracks which features are being used and how, and this information helps CAST determine what to improve upon and how to prioritize development efforts for the next version. It is important to understand that absolutely no personal information will ever be sent to CAST software as part of CEIP. The controls within the Appearance container allow you to customize Vivian's look and feel. Here you have two visual theme options. Dark, which is the default theme, and Light Gray, which will change the application's window to a light shade with less contrast between colors. Choose your favorite. The Toolbar Icon Size option allows you to choose between large or small icons to be displayed in Vivian's toolbars. Leaving this setting on Large, which is the default, allows for more comfortable navigation and more evident icons. This is the recommended setting if you're using a high-resolution monitor, like a 1920x1080. Changing this setting to Small will shrink the icons and provide more space in your work area. Finally, there are three ruler style options. Classic White, which will look like this. View Color, which will match the drawing wireframe's background color. And finally, View Color with Border which is the same as the Vivian color option, but with a thin border separating the ruler from the drawing area. Click OK to apply the changes. Please note that if you have changed the icon size option, Vivian will need to be restarted in order for the changes to take effect. File-related tasks are performed from the four task groups in the central part of the Vivian welcome screen. From here, you can create a new Vivian file in various ways, open an existing file, or import a file. In the Create Event group, clicking the Create Event icon will open a blank file, the same as if you were to click the blank link. You may also choose to create a new file and insert a venue at the same time. To do this, click one of the Venue Template options. 
Room will create a square or rectangular room. Theater will create a venue with the proscenium arch. Frame tent will create a square or rectangular tent. And circus tent will create a round style tent. Once you click on a venue template, you'll be asked to enter dimensions pertaining to each element of the selected venue, such as width, height, support elements, details for tents, and so on. The Recent Events group lists the last four tiles that were opened by Vivian. To open one of these files, simply click on its name. To open any other Vivian file, click the Recent Events icon or the More link. In the Import group, clicking the Import File icon will allow you to choose and import a file in any of the formats supported by Vivian. To open a file in a specific format, simply click the link for that format and the import dialog that appears will be filtered to only show files of that type. For example, if you click the SketchUp link, only files with the .skp extension will be listed in the import dialog. The Event Templates group handles Vivian's template files. Much like the Recent Events group, the Event Templates group will list the last four templates used. Clicking on one will start a new Vivian file based on that template. To start a new file based on any other template stored on your hard drive, click the More link or the Event Templates icon. Templates can be extremely useful in many ways, and their use will be covered in a future video. For now, though, we've reached the end of the Welcome screen and Basic Application Options Overview, and in the next video, we'll show you how to use Vivian's Application Window. Thank you for watching.